Thank you so much. The next question will go to um, Mushka Fiel. Can you please uh, unmute yourself and? Thank you. Thank. Can you hear me? We can. Yeah. Thank you, Ned. Nice to have you in this press briefing. So Good to see you. on on Bangladesh, you know, more than ten human rights organization asked U.S. and the U.N. for decisive action. These because the country's law enforcement agency and the the government is violating human rights extremely. Extrajudicial killing is going on, and as you know, press freedom is very much controlled. And very disappointing piece of that that the Bangladesh regime organized a press conference in New York, and just one of our colleague asked a simple question: Why Bangladesh Prime Minister leading 141 delegation in this pandemic time, where the other country is leading very small? Then they attacked brutally. He was in hospitalized and released from the Almost Hospital. It, you know, the USA is a, is a First Amendment, it is a free press, is established already. But the others country where they are coming for the press briefing and they are attacking journalists. So it is very, uh, I'm, what is your reaction on that? And what is your uh, reaction about the 10 human rights organization like Human Rights Watch, Robert Kennedy Human Rights, that wrote a letter to you and UN for decisive action for this extreme violation of human rights. Thank you very much. Good to see you. I, I believe you and I had an opportunity to discuss this issue a couple months ago uh, now, but uh, we continue to be deeply concerned uh, over increasing reports of suppression and intimidation of journalists in Bangladesh. Uh, and that includes under the Digital Security Act, uh, a law that suppresses and actually criminalizes uh, freedom of expression. Press freedom and access to factual and accurate information are found uh, foundational to prosperous and secure democratic societies. Uh, that is true the world over. We condemn the use of harassment or intimidation to restrict the ability of independent journalists to serve the public uh, wherever it may occur. And we call on governments to ensure media safety and to project, protect journalists' ability to do their jobs without fear of violence, threats, uh, or unjust detention. When it comes to the incident uh, in New York City this week that you raised, we're aware of reports of an alleged assault against a Bangladeshi journalist at an event located in New York. Uh, we would need to refer you to the New York Metropolitan Police Department for further information on that. Good to see you. 